All right, we've got temperatures going down around 25 degrees Fahrenheit uh, all weekend. So we're going to talk about what we're doing to prepare for it and also what we're doing to get ready for spring. We're also going to do a real quick summary of this week's meals from HelloFresh. We're going to show you the meals that we ordered and what went into preparing them and how we liked them. And we're going to be talking about all this. We tend to go a little bit overboard at Christmas, but you know, that's the fun of it, right? All right, let's get started. All right, I just looked at the Weather Channel and all of you are in my thoughts. We're going down to 25 here in Florida, but that's nothing compared to what like most of the United States is going through. So you guys stay warm, you know, have fun, have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and that, but, but stay warm and stay safe. And I, I know you probably don't want to talk about plants, but uh, I'm going to let you know what's going on in my garden, what I'm going to do, you know, and see if, you know, anything makes it. And if it doesn't, you know, it, it, this whole process just it, it's so easy and, and it's not much time or effort or money that I don't stress out about it because yeah everything might be gone but I'm just going to grow some more microgreens and then from those I'm going to put them into more downspouts and whatever space I have somewhere I'm going to put some up and if not I'll just wait a couple of weeks and and most of you around the United States if it's still snowing and that and if to wait a couple of months just know that as soon as that time comes that it's going to be easy to get out there and, and grow your food and, and start doing it over and over. Um, a lot of you are growing indoors. You can do it. That you know this is an easy system to do indoors. Uh, I want you guys to get in the frame of mind that, that, that we might hear a lot of bad news. You know they're talking about the recession. You know we've got like the the economy, the recession. You know we already had our stomach in knots, and now all of a sudden record cold temperatures are coming in we're like you know what else right uh and just want you guys to think back you know uh, a couple of decades ago or, or a century ago uh, the great depression and times after the war and just all through history the black plague you know the, the you can name just the, time after time after time the the people of the world have gone through just just all kinds of struggles right and everybody survived and we're still here think about the pioneers people coming to america and and they had to eat right there was no grocery store everywhere there wasn't a mcdonald's or starbucks on every corner right we've become so comfortable with the way that we live that when things start to go bad you know we feel like it's the end of the world and it's not if you think even as bad as it gets it's it's a hundred times better than what some of the people went through to to you know get us to where we're at today you know, the, if they went and started a homestead, you, you came out and, you, and you're going into a brand new country and, and you set up and you have some cattle and chickens and a root cellar, you know, to try and get through weather like this. People made it through winters like this and, 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 and survived, you know. So uh, some people are trying to grow some of their own food and, and I want to help everyone out. That's why we make it as cheap and easy, easy as possible so we don't leave anyone behind. And some people get a little discouraged and I get some comments and that and, and people are like, you know, I tried and tried and, and I just can't do it. And, and they're getting frustrated. And I, I, I said, well, how many things did you do? Did you do this or do that? And, you know, how many times did you, you try it? And they're like, three. I'm like, three? <laughs> it's, I, I went through years of experimenting and stuff and, 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 and adapting and doing different things before I even put a, one video on YouTube. And, uh, and people throughout history, you know, have done monumental things more than, than me, you know, throughout history trying to figure things out. Just to look at all the stuff that's around you right now. Just look at your phone. You know, you're, you're talking with people around the world. We're interacting with people all over the globe with, with something we can hold in our hand. And all of a sudden we get, you know, discouraged because things cost a little more. There's inflation and, and, and it, it's tough to grow my own food. And, and we've got a snowstorm and, you know, the, the, the things that we're complaining about it is nothing compared to what people went through throughout history. So as we get into 2023, I want you guys to get into that frame of mind. I'm going to get out here and harvest some of my food. I'm going to, you know, try to save some. I'm going to put some frost cloth up. It might not work, but I'm not stressed about it because I know how easy it is. I know that when this is done and when things start to warm up, 
it's not going to take me long to put a couple of seeds, start some microgreens, to take those and put them into some nutrient solution and start growing my food all over again and do that over and over and over. And, and I want you guys to, to learn how to do that and to get excited about it because once you do that, you're going to be addicted to it. And when you do that, then you're going to tell other people and they're going to tell other people and that's how we spread the word and that's how everybody, you know, we start to help people. We make a change in the world, right? And it's, it's by keeping our chin up and not be giving in to the doom and the gloom. I want you guys to, to have a Merry Christmas. I want you guys to have a Happy New Year. I want you guys to start the New Year off right, get in the right frame of mind, and learn how to grow your own food. Keely's going to be teaching you guys how to make your, your homes beautiful. You know, the, just growing your own food, you learn to survive. We're going to teach you how to be happy, too, and to live in a happy environment. We're going to teach you guys all kinds of things. And, and it, it, it all comes with having the right frame of mind and, and realizing that lots of people have went through a lot worse, that, that what we're going through, and as bad as it seems, that, that it's really not that bad. Hey, right, guys, I hope that helps you out. And I mean every word that I say. And, and I want everyone out there to, 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 to have this kind of joy in that, okay? All right, let's get on to the cooking. Hey, right, we're going to go over week two of HelloFresh, the meal delivery system. And uh, are you enjoying it so far? Yeah. Did you like it? So far, the one time I had an allergic reaction. <laughs> yeah, so we have to be real careful with all the ingredients that Keely has. But I think everybody will get a good idea of what goes into the program. And last week, I showed you how to go on the computer and how we ordered. And today, we're just going to go over like four more recipes that we went through. And these are going to be videos that we upload on the... Uh, keep on growing home and garden community over on Thinkific. So if you guys are interested in that, there'll be a link down below. And that's where we'll just have the, just how to prepare them and go more into detail. But right here, we're just going to go over the four recipes that we had. So you guys can kind of have an idea of what kind of meals come with it. Uh, the first one we're going to go over is uh, sweet Thai chili burgers. And did you like that? I like the ingredients we mixed in the burger. It made the burger uh, not so tough, more tender, and very tasty. Yeah, it had garlic and ginger in that inside the actual burger. I'm actually going to keep that recipe for future burgers on the grill. Yeah, a little sweet chili sauce. It had the crispy fried onions sprinkled on. So Keely likes to keep these afterwards because they kind of show you how to prepare it. And they tell you the ingredients that went into it. So even if you don't use them you, you know you got another cool little recipe of something that's pretty easy to make but that wasn't all that difficult that you know it was basically putting a burger together and we like cooking on the griddle so we cooked out on the griddle and um sweet potato fries but they were pretty good weren't they mm -hmm. we actually did that one like a hash i make sweet potato fries all the time so right i eat sweet potato a lot all right the next one we did was one pan santa fe pork tacos and did you like that one? <laughs> it was it was tasty, but I'm a picky eater, so it was okay. But it just I don't I didn't care for it too much. Yeah, that was an okay one for me too. I think my youngest son liked it. And there was like fresh ingredients on it, and um, but as far as just like a, a taco, we we make a whole lot of tacos and burritos and stuff like that. So we're pretty much taco experts yeah we so we're to do our tacos we're a little bit uh biased on that so just th this was okay but it, it's a quick meal and one thing i like quick about hello Real fresh quick. is all ingredients are all in one bag so you've got all those in the bag and you've got mm -hmm. your protein so it tells you what to bust out and most of the time all you ever need is salt pepper oil and butter sugar and salt i did yeah. like the cabbage yeah, the cabbage slaw that went on it. The slaw. Yeah, that was tasty. So, you know, the, the that, that one was okay. The next one we had was the Dijon onion crunch chicken. I love that topping. I had that topping first on salmon. Yeah, salmon the first and week. It just didn't pair with me. In fact, I'm going to have Mike soon make one of my favorite salmon dishes on the grill for you guys. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to put on it because I don't want to uh, 
Yeah, that's good. That one's really good. I don't want that to be a surprise, but y'all got to try it. Yeah, and that's why we're a little bit yeah. uh, biased about the salmon is because that one tastes so good that when we try but something else. it was else, so good on chicken. Yeah. Oh, it's a game changer for me. I'm going to definitely make this again. Yeah, the reason why I didn't like it on the salmon was because it had cheese. You mix cheese and the french fried onions, you know, and, and Keela likes the topping. The topping really was just Dijon mustard smeared on it. And then the french fried onions with cheese sprinkled on it, stuck in the oven. So you can do that yourself. Um, as you guys can see, there's only like seven different ingredients that came with it. So pretty, pretty sim simple dish. And uh, what do you call it? Keely would be making again, but with chicken and not uh, with fish. Just a quick note to the green beans. They're fine if you make them in the oven, but I like saute in mine real quick. Just kind of flash cook them. Because I like mine still crunchy. Yeah, it came out good that way. Yeah. <laughs> and the last one we have creamy chicken sausage and kale cavatappi, which is just a different type of uh, pasta. And did you like that one? It's good, but I like Mike's better. <laughs> we make a whole lot of different pastas yeah. and everything too. So um, th this one was pretty good. I ate. I think it I ate all nice the leftovers. All the ingredients already prepped and ready for you. So all you had to do was open it up and throw it together. So right. It was it was tasty. Right. And so with all of these and and HelloFresh in general, and I think there's different Blue Apron and different other um, meal delivery services. The one plus about it all, like some people say, is it worth it? It's just that it saves a ton of time. Because mm -hmm. if we were going to go Don't and make this... Don't have to go this, shopping. Right. You'd look for all the different ingredients that you and have if to you're get. introvert. <laughs> yeah. It's nice having your food delivered to your door. And they give you just enough for that meal, too. So you're not... Like, we had one last week that had fig jam in it. And if we got that and used it for the recipe, a tablespoon... You know, what would you do with the rest of the fig jam? Except spread it on toast or something. So if you don't want to, like... If, if you're single, I think this is cool. If you don't have a, a big pantry or you don't have a whole lot of stuff stocked in a refrigerator mm -hmm. and you just you want different meals three, four times a week. That I want good. Mike to do some pasta dishes for you guys. How he just quickly throws them together. And of course, we use the kale that we grow in our garden. So it's very convenient for us. We just go out our back door, snip a couple pieces and wash it and... And what it, usually I'm the one who goes and cuts it and cleans it and has it ready for him. So all you know, he does is just throw everything together. But his sauces are really good. Yeah, so we're going to be showing you all that. Thank you. But uh, um, that's the other thing, too, is like the portions. Like I said, if you're just single or you just want something that's just ready, you know, you get everything you need. But like we grow a lot of kale and pak choy and greens and whenever we cook we tend to put a little bit more so the portion that comes with all of these mm -hmm. seemed a little like skimpy to us even though it's the right amount of, you know that you could use. But we tried to keep true to the recipes. I think the only thing we changed up was uh, um, onions when we were doing the onions and as when I fire up the griddle I don't like to waste the heat and the, I have it on so Keely wants us to do onions so we do a lot more onions and the kale uh, I think we substituted our dino kale for the curly mm -hmm. kale one time you know so you can do that and there's a lot of these we cooked on the griddle instead of inside on a stove top or oven so you you can kind of just take this and, and run with it right and with my condition I have hypersensitivity syndrome it took them four years to figure out what was going on with me because I would have uh, severe allergic reactions where I end up in the ER. Um, and I've been on a lot of steroids for the past few years. I'm finally off all the steroids. And we figured out I just have to eat very carefully if I want to stay off of them. And not in, uh, back in the ER. So with that said, HelloFresh gave me a good start to new ideas of how to put together to make my plain whole food meals more tastier and then that's what I liked what I learned from the HelloFresh so yeah but my two favorite out of them was the burger and the chicken with that um, onion yeah the onion crunch no, and no. I ate all the pasta so and the portions were actually <laughs> actually pretty big we don't eat big portions so it says no. it was for two but actually it could have been for four for us because I ate like 
Yeah, and I'm the sensitive next day to I wheat. It. I'm not allergic to it. I'm just sensitive. It gives me like an allergy reaction, like you would do during pollen season. I start sneezing and coughing and hard to breathe. So I get rice pasta. I love rice pasta. And uh, I want a pasta maker machine one day because I'm planning to try to make my own butternut squash pasta as well. I love the butternut squash pasta. Yeah. So. So everyone, I I like to like said if you're we're we're not going to do this anymore. We might try one of the other ones, but um, to me, if you get three or four meals, you you get them like we had it delivered on Friday or Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you're planning on you know your next delivery won't be for another week, but the ingredients won't like last like a whole week. You know, and the uh, what was the ginger was a little mm -hmm. rough and. And uh, yeah. some of the, some of the ingredients, uh, so you have to cook them like right away. You know, day one, day two, you can kind of leave one it. One of but. the sauce packages was slit open a little like from a box cutter, so that was damaged. That came like that, and we don't eat things that have been opened like that just for safety sake. Yeah, so that that will be that's actually on next week's video. Yeah. So, but uh, he he makes turkey burgers ahead of time and puts them in the freezer. He buys it by the bulk. Um, we switched Costco to BJ's. Is that where we go shopping now? Yeah. And so BJ's. he just gets the big, it's much bigger deal. And you've probably seen where he's put together, how much everything costs and compare what it costs in the store. And uh, I would like to share some of the meal prep ideas, things that are easy to, because you could take those burgers and you can make anything with them. You can put them in the pasta, make a pasta dish. You can eat it just as a burger. You can break it up and make spaghetti or tacos. So it's something to consider. Yeah. So, and if anybody's interested, uh, they probably have specials going on. We got a special when we first started, right? Right. They've always got specials going on. So if you want to try it for a week or two, that's what we did. You get like 30% off and 20% off and something. They, they space it out over a couple of weeks. Um, I've got a couple of coupon codes for one free gift box. I have no idea what that is. It says one free meal. So if anybody wants those, Email me at keeponggrowing one gmail com and I'll give you the code until I run out of them. And uh, we're we're done with the meal prep because we want to go ahead and start making some of our own meals. We're going to start after the first of the year. I know everybody's busy through the holidays, but we're going to start cooking up a whole lot of stuff this next uh, couple of episodes yeah. that are coming up. And I have one request from him to cook uh, for Christmas. What's that? The mashed potato bar. Oh, okay. All right, we're doing the mashed potato bar. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, we'll catch you all later. We're done with this. You got anything I'll say about HelloFresh? No, it was, it was, it's convenient. Yeah, you, I think you don't convenient. Have allergies. Convenient and tasty. It's, it, it, you know, it wasn't bland there. They are tasty and, and pretty easy. Yeah. Most of the prep was pretty easy to do. And, yeah. and most of the cooking was. And I've eaten uh, like a dozen of their meals. And that was just the first time I ever had a reaction from one of their meals. So, yeah. Alrighty, so, cool. So. All right, till next time. Bye. <laughs> you gotta fix my glasses. All right. You I didn't mean to set a paint can on them. Yeah. <laughs> Squash. Hey, right, as long as we're sitting here, I know we just said bye, but as long as we're just sitting here, I figure we'll get to, we'll talk about we'll do the art or decoration uh, portion of this, and uh, I'll let Keely tell you a little bit about what she has in plan for all of y'all. But I want to let you you know we tend to go a little bit overboard at Christmas. And we're also going to be painting over all of this and showing you guys how to do faux finishes and, and decorative wall finishes. And, and Keely's been working for, what, it's been like 23 years, right? What? Or more. They, you've, been, you've done your own business, so like painting and, and murals and all that. I mean, since we came to Jacksonville. Yeah, about 23 years. That. Well, I've done it professionally for yeah. a living. 23 years. Before that, I was just working for other people who were artists. And then I had a small business before that where I did just a, a lot of folk art. Yeah. 
where I painted like saw blades and took bottles and spray painted them and speckle them and then I painted something cute on them like I have this little grandma and grandpa couple and it would say welcome and so I got some other things and then I got creative and made a pig couple a cow couple I'll probably share some of those because that'd be something interesting you can use to decorate yeah so she'll be showing you all kinds of stuff coming up and then in the the home and garden part of thinkific the community over there she's going to be doing stuff more in detail and 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 helping people over there if they have questions and yes and uh over here we'll just kind of be showing you different things that we're doing and, and quick tips and tricks but just like this we said you could make it a log cabin or you know you could change it up to look like boards you can make it look like the inside of a, a clubhouse we've done that before right like a little mm -hmm. kids clubhouse you can change the scenery in the window so we might do that we might take down keely's tree and uh, maybe paint a different scenery before we get done with this to show you guys uh how you can take this from a winter wonderland and change it into looking like something else without yeah. doing a whole lot of work we're gonna go ahead even though christmas isn't over yet we're gonna go ahead and plan for the next christmas i want to do like a victorian goth but steampunk kind of decoration um i've been doing a lot of research in it and we've got some ideas coming up for that and make that fun but that's next year next year right yeah. so what y'all are going to see is we're going to we're going to repaint this and and take stuff down and and we're going to show you different things besides just the painting keely's going to teach you guys how to paint like the murals like easy things first like sky bushes trees grass bird a building or something but and get you guys where you can practice on different things and even if you don't do that we're going to teach you how to do faux finishes and um keely matched like wallpapers and and i what i pride myself on is some of my faux finishes i can do and make them look like they have texture where you don't ruin your wall because if you do a faux finish where you want like say venetian plaster you put texture on your wall so if you change your mind down the road or you decide to sell your house and you don't want that texture on the wall anymore you want it just plain painted uh you have to sand that wall or remove the sheetrock so i know a few easy simple techniques using just items that you have around your house to make those textures without actually caking something on your walls yeah so we're going to show you all different kinds of things and and what um Keely's done over the years just like my hydroponics and and we do things cheap and easy and and you know make it inexpensive and and where everybody we want everybody growing their own food right so we simplified the growing process Keely has worked on um taking something that used to be complicated and and really artistic and kind of simplified it so that just about anyone can do it too and you know of course it's still going to be people who are like really artistic to paint murals and things but we've got simple things that you can do to to make your homes look really beautiful and not spend a whole lot of money she said like instead of getting a whole lot of uh fancy faux finish tools and expensive glaze and that we're going to teach you to use stuff like like a little bag and and chip brushes and things right yeah but there's still you would think just crumble the bag and use it you can't do that you've got to turn it inside out because you do not want that label think of the label sometimes will come off the bag and be included in your finish on the paint <laughs> so so all this I all this tips you. are going to be coming she's been doing this for years and she's got all kind of tips and tricks and everything so we're just going to start with basics the only reason why we did this was because it's christmas and we we're going to shoot some videos and we want to get our setting up and we're going to do uh maybe uh christmas carol and we might do something for new year's but uh after that this is our little area where we're going to be doing different finishes mm -hmm. keely's going to be doing different craft projects and just all kinds of things mm -hmm. so we're going to be gardening we're going to be cooking and we're going to be crafting and painting and and just all all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff for in, well, in the next one of the things i like to do too is do seasonal where you i have a one pot that's my favorite and i like to do little seasonal flowers in it to put by the front door so i'll be sharing some of the tips that i've learned from people who do this for a living the actual plants and show you the tricks they've taught me i'm pretty sure some of them you already know 
Yeah, Keeley's been working with uh, interior decorators for like the 23 years or whatever we were working. That's how she got started was contacting them. And that's back before the internet. She had to like get on the phone and call people. But so she, she started her work and started her business through interior decorators and she's been working with them for 23 years. So she's got a lot of things that she can help you all with. And it's been on houses that are from like a hundred thousand dollar house up to five million dollar houses right mm -hmm. yeah so so all kinds of stuff coming up and we're, are we gonna have one more before the end of the year i think we got one more one more week so we'll yeah. do one more quick one to wrap up the year yeah and i've got a couple things i'm gonna do for my art channel yeah and then and she's got her other graphs. art channel so we'll share a little bit of it here and and uh, she's got a channel where she's got a bunch of centerpieces and and watercolor and all kinds of stuff on there too, yeah. but uh, we'll get to all that. All right, so uh, what do we what we'll say uh, new uh, happy new year next week. So this week is just Merry Christmas. Everybody have a safe and uh, fun holiday. Yes, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, thank you. <laughs> Live to inspire. Keep on growing. And be the change.